Okay. Okay, so I start. Yes. Okay, my name is Sam Hopkins, and I was going to talk a little bit about my work as an artist and as a curator. And the first question on my script, which Claudio gave to me, is how I define my work. And I would say, I would say I'm a conceptual artist, and what I mean by a conceptual artist is I think the idea comes before the form. So I work in different forms um, because I think different forms suit different ideas. So sometimes I work with performance, sometimes I work with installation, sometimes I work with projects. Um, I started a project with some friends in Kenya called Slum TV, which was four years which took to run because the idea which preceded the form was the idea of providing media infrastructure to a community that didn't have it. So yeah, I would say I'm a conceptual artist. That's how I would... And uh, of course, like, there is, if you want to go to a little bit more deeper, there's, I think, a dialectic relationship between um, idea and form. So your idea um, suggests a kind of form and then you work in a particular way and then that feeds back into the idea. Um, so it's a kind of... A, it's a dialectic process. Um, does art have a social function? Uh, I would say yes. <laughs> um, I would say, um, for me, the biggest function of art is one of um, expanding our imagination. And I think, um, uh, for me, a very good artwork makes me think about the world in a different way. It makes me look at it from an angle which I hadn't considered and makes visible things which previously were invisible. So these these qualities make it for me something which is, um, it expands your consciousness, it expands how you can understand the world, and it can then, I believe, um, help you to sort of have a richer and deeper and fuller understanding of, of life, I mean, basically, it's not divorced from life. These things that we see in galleries and these things that we see in cinemas and these books that we read, they, they impact on on how we behave, on how we relate to people, and how, how we are as human beings, I think. Beyond that, I think there are certain ways art can have a more direct social impact um, and, a, and a direct political impact as well. Careful of the wires. Oh. <laughs> um, and I think... Um, it's okay. I think there are, um, for example, certain projects. No, that's cool. Tell me. Um, I have these films of Anishka. Ah, yes. Do you want to have them? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, there are many. Yeah, shall I carry on? Uh, beyond that, I think there are certain ways that. Um, certain more concrete social and political dimensions that art can have. Um, as artists, you, if you work outside the gallery space, um, you can also have, you know, there are many artists that work with, with, together with communities and work with issues of public space and work with things which have, um, um, you know, m m sort of work with issues uh, which perhaps are not visible so they can use their artistic strategies to make these other... Um, causes and concerns more visible uh, but for me and even though I work quite a lot like that for me I think like I said my, the primary function is, is an imaginative one um, which I think has a direct social consequence mm -hmm. next on my script the difference between an artist and a curator um, it's interesting you know because if you're an artist that works conceptually so if you're an artist that works in different media or in different forms. I think uh, you could argue that an exhibition is a form that you're working with as an artist, you know. So uh, uh, curating and conceptual art are pr predominantly ideas led, um, I would argue. I think it's, there's different positions, but that's my feeling about it. So often there's a very grey line between what it means to be an artist and what it means to be a curator. Um, although fundamentally, I do think artists produce works and curators collect works. I think this would be the big, the big, 
defining line between the two. Uh, but then you could also argue, you know, art, some artists work with strategies of appropriation uh, and collage. They're basically bringing together other works and making it into something new. And maybe you could argue that an exhibition is, is also kind of like a collage or an assemblage in itself. So there are different ways to look at it. It's definitely a fine line, but I think my, my, um, my, 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 my kind of defining, or well, my definition would say, well, a curator is not really making anything new. Well, it's, 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 it's a difficult one, it's a difficult one. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so that leads, of course, into the next question, the tension between artist and curating. I think it could be exactly that, because I would say people... I, I work as a curator, and I work as an artist, but I define myself as an artist. I don't really define myself as a curator. I'm a, a, an artist that sometimes curates. Curators will probably really disagree with what I say. Um, and I think, you know, more and more, when you, you have had in the last 20 years... <coughs> Since, um, I think really since Harold Zeman, who was one of the first kind of um, discourse-based curators. So he really curated shows, trying to flesh out an idea. So I think he would, he would and curators in his tradition, would see themselves like a director. So they put together the different cuts of the film, which the cameraman has made. Um, the director doesn't shoot the film. Um, he basically, he, he, it, he assembles it into a narrative. And I, I think that's also what like, the contemporary curators do. They, they build narratives out of other works. Um, to the extent that nowadays I think you have a whole kind of super curator class. And actually, maybe, they're arguably much more powerful than the artists. Because in the same way that the director makes a story out of a film, out of a selection of different shots and edits, in the same way and in the same way a curator makes a story out of a different selection of shots and edits. And maybe that one shot, which is actually an artwork, can be perhaps compromised within that bigger story. So I think these are some of the tensions between between artworks and curating artworks which exist. Um, Ah, I can't read this. I'm nope. just going to show you my. I'm just going to show you my. Yeah. Uh, my <laughs> script, okay? Yes, just, uh, it's the the five, huh? Yeah, this is high. Uh, can, uh, can you list some items for uh, criteria uh -huh. to uh, creating an exhibition? Yeah. So I think uh, different exhibitions require different criteria, um, and it really depends on what you're trying to discuss to 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 give this a more concrete form. I was working on an exhibition last year about memory um, and how artists can work with um, contem contemporary memorials. So memorial, certainly in the English language, and monument has this kind of references for statues of people on horses and stuff which is somehow very difficult to relate to. But there's a new tradition of m monuments and, and memorials which are often performance-based you know, using contemporary forms like video, you know, you could have... I went to, like, a, a memorial once, which was a, a big pillow fight, you know, as a kind of a game idea. Um, and so, uh, when I was curating this exhibition, my, my, what I was looking for were younger artists that use experimental ways to, to work with memory. So I think a different exhibition requires different criteria, um, and that, those criteria are connected to what, what this big narrative might be, you know, and what, 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 what you're trying to say, what you're trying to explore. And for me, I was interested in exploring the idea of, of um, memory in Kenya, that co exhibition was called Conversations in Silence, and how um, you could make actually memory relevant for day-to-day -day existence, for, for people today, so, and, so, and to make memorials relevant. So, of course, my criteria was not for a traditional sculptor. My criteria is for someone that has a sense of what people identify with and what people connect with in, in contemporary Kenya today. Uh, yeah? Uh, I think that's all, no? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think okay. that's it. Then, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>